When we hear martial arts, we think fighting, but that's not all that's offered at Harrisonburg's Mixed Martial Arts Institute. Senior reporter Caitlin Merriman has more. Though that sound might seem like a fight has just begun, it's much more than that here at the Harrisonburg MMA Institute. Lifelong friendships are being made, the kind of people that you can call up when you're sick and need something or you know whatever the case may be. People tend to really be here for each other and I think that that's just the most special thing that you could ever be a part of. All ages are welcome to take classes and join this family. Run outside when it's warm and we do stuff with the kettlebells. I like it all. The Whitmores and coaches strive to instill discipline and teach not only the children but all ages that walk through the door that it's okay to mess up because someone will be there for you. We have a saying in here, 1% every day, just getting better 1% every day. For some, this place has been their home, a place that has allowed them the opportunity to reach their full potential and find themselves. I kind of lost who Esteban was, you know, and this was just a new place that just helped me find that again. Esteban struggled with addiction for years and felt like he had no place to go until he found the Harrisonburg MMA Institute. Something good has to come out of this. Like, something has to. You have to turn into something good, and that's going to be up to you. Esteban has a fight tomorrow, and the training for this big day has not been easy. Train hard when easy. Each fighter participates in an eight week long training. The week before, they have a night called the Fight Gone Bad Night, where the training is so rough, the day of the fight will feel like a breeze. One fighter training here will represent Team Virginia in a national fight next Saturday. I mean, part of me is like really excited for it, but the, uh, at the same time, it's just another, uh, another day in the office for me. No matter where each participant may be in their fitness journey, every person walking through these doors establishes their why, and they make it official by adding it to the wall of why. If you can find that why, everything's easier. The how doesn't matter anymore. Harrisonburg MMA Institute has classes for everyone, and you can join too. Reporting for Breeze TV in Harrisonburg, I'm Caitlin Merriman. More and more, we see stories of people being attacked and not knowing what to do. Caitlin Merriman is live now to show us a few techniques to defend ourselves. Caitlin, what's going on over there? Sydney, have you ever been walking around late at night or maybe just by yourself and felt like you wouldn't know what to do if someone were to attack you? Well, you don't have to worry anymore because I'm joined here with the co-owner of Harrisonburg MMA Institute, Sarah Whitmore. Sarah, thank you for joining us. Thanks for coming. And she's going to be showing us a thing or two, some technique that you can do to self-defend yourself. So let's get into it. Yeah, so we're going to go from the worst case scenario today. We're on our backs. Um, and actually, to prove that it works, we're going to bring in my husband, fight team coach and co-owner, Jeremy Whitmore, and I'm just going to talk you through it. Sound All right. Good? Sounds great. All Let's right. do it. Okay, so again, we are on our backs, worst case scenario. What we're actually going to do is pull guard, which is when we wrap our legs around our attacker. What this allows us to do is to keep them either really far away from us by pulling back, exactly, or really close by pulling in. And that's basically where we want to be, really close or really far away. So in this position, we're obviously can be hurt. We want to get away, <laughs> right? So we're going to sweep him. And we do that by breaking our guard. Our feet come planted, exactly. I'm going to pop my hip and throw my arm around him, exactly. And from there, I'm going to boost him over, exactly. All right. Good work. From there, we want to either get away. If we know more jujitsu, we can choke. All right, so there you have it. You can go home and try to master this skill. So if you're ever in that state of emergency, you're going to know what to do. For now, live in Harrisonburg, Caitlin Merriman, Breeze TV.